I always teach people that their opinion of their website and my opinion of their website don't matter. Right. The only people that matter are the people that are coming to their website who become a client, a lead, a subscriber, a whatever, right? Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of In the Den. Today, I am joined by Martin Greif. He is the president of Site Tuners and ConversionCon. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you, CJ. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, I am super excited to be talking to you. I know I'm going to be out in Vegas here in just a little bit for Conversion Con. But for everybody out there listening that doesn't necessarily know you, Marty, tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into conversion optimization and digital marketing to begin with. Sure. Well, my background as a whole has been 20 plus years in marketing. Um, but prior to that, I was a developer. And one day I went, I was bored. I went on an interview to a software company and they said, oh, you know technology and you can speak without drooling on yourself. You should be in marketing. Yeah, you're laughing. I'm dead serious. <laughs> so, I believe you. That's why yeah. I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing I know, I'm working for a software company. I'm in marketing and my, my, my career just took off. It was wonderful. Um, and over the years I progressed, I was VP of sales and marketing in publicly traded companies. And I was ready to retire. And a friend of mine, the founder of Site Tuners, called me and said, hey, can you recommend somebody to take over sales and marketing? So I started recommending people. And he said, dummy, I met you. <laughs> and I went, oh, oh, OK. And so we talked. And I said, All right, I promise you, I, I'll give you five years. Oh, well, that was, oh, God, 11 or 12 years ago. And uh, really enjoyed it. And he wanted to move on to do other things. So I bought the company in 2019 and then bought another agency shortly thereafter. So we've been growing through acquisition and, and it's all conversion, but it's always been conversion. Even in the old days with direct mail, you want people to do something. It's not it's, about me. Always, yeah, there's always a purpose. Absolutely. An intention yeah. behind it. Yep. So um, that's, so my background is always about making things happen, whether it was in the old days, direct mail to what's happening on a website. And I've launched a few businesses. And at the end of the day, conversion was always the thing. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's switch gears a little bit. So sure. speaking of conversion, we've got this whole entire event, Conversion Con. Tell us what inspired you to start that event and kind of, you know, what was the concept behind it initially? So in fairness, I, I have to give credit to the original founder for SciTuners, Tim Ash. Um, Tim has uh, written books on uh, landing page optimization, and he was a very Big Ten kind of guy. And so he created the conversion conference to uh, to bring in all the, the the technology vendors as well as the other agencies that were in that conversion space because he believed and I still believe this there is more than enough business to go around for everyone so if we yeah absolutely I, I know you guys believe the same thing right so yeah. uh, you know if you if you provide value to people then and they learn when they need help, they will ask for help. And if they ask for help from me or from, from you know, one SEO or somebody else who's a speaker, God bless them. It's all fine, right? Yeah, so, so, yeah, we started this in 2010. Um, and we've had conferences around the world from, you know, Munich and, and, and London and, you know, uh, obviously Vegas, but San Francisco, Boston, we're, we're, we've been all over the place. And uh, we did settle a few years ago for the U.S. conference to be in Vegas, uh, because apparently everyone wants to go to Vegas, which is fine. Whatever. I guess. But if you've been <laughs> once, uh, that's that's all you need. <laughs> I know I don't I don't completely understand it, but it's okay. But we've tried. We 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 we're now in a new hotel. We we've, we've moved from place to place. We try to make it interesting. So we're going to the Red Rock Resort, which looks really cool this time. So you know we'll see. Um, now yeah. speaking of Vegas, what can attendees expect to see from the presentations and from the speakers? Like, tell us a little bit about some of those key topics and and learning opportunities that are going to be provided. Well. Let's talk about yours. Let's start there. Okay. So when people apply to speak, I look at what is the, the overall message and how is that going to help the audience? And when I saw your topic, I went, oh, 
I need CJ to come speak to the audience because I saw there was a lot of value, you know, in, in your message. And so across that, all of these talks are about um, uh, what, what practical tips can people take away so that when they leave, they can actually make a difference in their lead flow, subscriptions, revenue, whatever it is they're doing on their website, right? And so yep. you fit in that and so do these other talks. Now, having said that, I will tell you a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of noise, for lack of a better term, about AI these days. Yeah. And so, you know, well, like in SEO, there's a lot of talk about the content and there's a lot of talk about, you know, ideation, but there's a lot of talk about AI for conversions now. So a lot of the, the topics are going to talk about SEO and AI for conversion or conversion rate optimization and testing with AI or, you know, you name it, there is an element of AI in 85% of the talks these days. Yeah. And it's so important. I just got back from, from California last week and, you know, Google had their Google IO and then they do their Google marketing live. And that's, I mean, that's all that they talked about. But the most exciting thing for me as a marketer was they weren't just talking about generative AI in, in general. Like they were actually talking about what Google is doing to utilize this technology and how they're improving it. And so many people are afraid of it. So I'm excited to hear that you've got so many speakers who are bringing AI into part of the conversation because it's here. Whether we like it or not, it's here. The search right. engines are using it. You know, all of these tools are using it. So we, we've got to find a way to to work with it and i think we can all agree that you put garbage in you get garbage out so you know ai it, it doesn't know everything it just knows what we've taught it to learn um and it's only as good as the person putting in the prompts to get out the you know the information that they need so i'm super super excited um what are some of the success stories that businesses uh have shared with you after attending conversion con we've actually had people call us or write us afterwards and tell us that for this specific you know topic they actually changed the way they think about it I, I, so i will tell you from my perspective because i've had people reach out to me afterwards i always teach people that their opinion of their website and my opinion of their website don't matter Right. The only people that matter are the people that are coming to their website who become a client, a lead, a subscriber, a whatever, right? And so everything we do is about aligning that visitor intent. And, and if you can get people to stop being, and this sounds terrible, but if you can get people to stop being selfish and think about what they want, it's like, buy my stuff. No, no, no. It's... it's let me help you so in your user journey so you can make an appropriate decision. Yeah. And when you do that, it's game changing. And I've had people tell me afterwards that not only has it impacted, and this is where it gets a little crazy, not only has it impacted their conversion rate and their revenue, but it's actually changed how they work with other employees in the company. It's like, wow, you know, that's impressive. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. And and you had mentioned about, you know, my presentation uh, at Conversion Con, but we chose to do it on storytelling because it's it's just like you said, your your website can be exactly what you as the business owner want or you as the marketer, you know, want. But at the end of the day, it's really how people interact with your website. And part of that is telling a story, like wanting them to be involved with your brand because that's who we are as searchers today. We want to be involved with organizations that we feel like we know, that we understand, that we align with their goals or their mission statement. And all of that is part of marketing, is, is giving people the details of you, right? You, Marty, as a business owner, they need to know you. They need to know that your intention aligns with, you know, their intention as far as, you know, sustainability or, you know, whatever it may sure. be that is important to them. Um, so I'm really excited about getting there and really excited about presenting. And like I said, I'm super excited that we finally have a, a conference that is really willing to, to talk about the big, scary AI, you know, machine. <laughs> so I think there's going to be, a, you know, a lot of value in there. And one part of conferences and trade shows uh, and conventions that's so important is the networking aspect, right? Um, I know I attend a lot specifically just to catch up with people that, you know, maybe they're considered my competitors, but at this point, mm -hmm. they've become my friends. There is enough business sure. for everybody. And we all share so much information. What are the opportunities 
uh, at Conversion Con for people to do that networking and kind of speak with other professionals and get their feedback and opinion? So I'll share a couple things that that pretty much every conference does that we do, and then I'll share something that we do that's a little different. Okay. okay. So we obviously have the the you know the network events in the and the lunches and the breakouts where people go into the exhibit hall area where they can meet with the sponsors and they can also you know sit down and have lunch with the other attendees um and and everyone does that so that's fair but a few years ago we started doing a uh, dinner with strangers where people can can wind up signing up to go have dinner with complete and total strangers and and they go to different restaurants and and they wind up meeting new and interesting people. So we encourage that. We also use a technology platform um, that allows people to uh, communicate with each other. And so any, when people register, they will get access to uh, an app that they can download on their phone, regardless of what kind of phone it is. And so these are just a couple of the the the, the opportunities. But I will tell you. And I, and I say this all the time, meeting people and connecting with people really makes a difference. And so, yeah, you can go to a conference and you can sit down next to someone and, you know, just stare ahead at the screen and the person, or you can turn to the person next to you and say, hey, where are you from? All right. And you never know who you're going to meet. And so we encourage people to actually do that. And so, and the dinner well, and came out of that. Yeah. And the, the good thing about that, too, is if you're willing to actually turn around to the person sitting next to you, they have probably experienced or are going through some of the same obstacles, same concerns, same roadblocks that, you know, that you have gone down. So being willing to open yourself up to that networking and have those conversations is amazing. Um, and, you know, you ne you don't know the things that you don't know until you realize you don't know them. Right. That's all the whole reason to go to a conference is to learn, to learn what's, you know, what's breaking, what's fresh, what's new, what are other people in the industry doing? Mm -hmm. um, so for people who don't know, you mentioned about registering. What's the easiest way for people to go and register if they're late to the game and they haven't already gotten their tickets? So it's just conversionconference.com. And I will tell you, I mean, both you and I have discount codes for 20% um, for off. So anybody who's watching this can use your code, you know, or our code. It doesn't matter. It's the same exact thing. Um, our code is site tuners and then the number 20. Um, and I assume I could be wrong. Yours must be one SEO and the number 20. 20. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. And we'll have all that information down here below for everyone to be able to, to go to it, a quick link and, and the, the promo code as well. So I do encourage anybody that is in the marketing space, uh, whether you work for an agency or whether you're part of the internal marketing, this is an event that you want to attend. There are so much. It, it's not one of those events where people are just speaking to hear themselves speak. Every presenter has packaged their presentation to leave you with tangible tips, tools, or tricks that you can take back with you and start implementing right after the conference. So make sure that you do that. And for anybody who is considering attending, we've touched on some of the points, but what would you say is the most compelling reason for them to attend the conference? So I'm going to answer it a little differently and tell you what always is the biggest winner of the conference. At the end of the, the conference, we have a, a presentation called Your Baby is Ugly, which I know, yeah, I know, I know. I mean, we know there's ugly babies, right? I mean, that's yeah. where ugly people come from. No, that's just, <laughs> right, so, but um, so what we do is we pull up the attendees' websites and they get to volunteer. We don't, we don't force anyone to do it, but people desperately want us to do that. And then we will explain what conversion barriers we see. And we've had people whose sites have immediately from that, they go back and they've, they've made massive changes that have, have changed their businesses. And we've had other people come up to us and go, oh, I wish you'd done ours. I wish I'd been brave enough, but I learned so much from that. So, so mm -hmm. at the end of all of the presentations, we take what, what, the, what the, the speakers have taught and we use that live in that very last session so people can actually see what it really means. And I think that that's, that's, that's so awesome. And I, I've told this story before, but 
data tells everything. And a lot of times it's just like you said, people are like, oh, I love my website. It's perfect. It's great. But it doesn't matter how you feel about it. And, mm-hmm. you know, the reverse goes too. we had someone uh, come to us at a conference and was like, um, you know, take a look at my website, tell you what what you thought. And the presenter looked at it and was like, oh, well, I can tell you right now the colors are terrible. But before we do anything, let's take a look at the data. The the data showed that it didn't matter that it was a crappy color brown and ugly yeah. yellow. Like the site was converting very, very well. The audience did, didn't seem to care about it. So really being able to, you know, take that feedback and understand that you're building a website that not only has to appease you and has to appease uh, Google, but it's, you know, primary intent from a conversion standpoint, it is, it has to please that end user. Oh, you know, absolutely. they have to, and, and that's what conversion con is all about is really helping people understand how to take something and make it better so that it can actually convert for you. We all say we want more leads. We don't need more leads. We need better leads yep. <laughs> for, for the right in, audience, the right intent. Um, and you know, that's what it's all about. So I cannot wait to get out there um, I am definitely excited that it's at a new location. I think it's going to be a great time. And I hope that everybody listening goes online right now and gets their ticket because they definitely don't want to miss out. Excellent. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person. This is great, but yep. in person will be even better. So. I, absolutely. Well, Marty, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, for everybody listening out here, we have all the details below for you to be able to uh, register, sign up, purchase your tickets. I hope to see you in Vegas.